Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a realistic screen effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here I have a video where I am typing DaVinci Resolve in the Google search bar. Of course, it can work on the image, uh, static image as well. So there are basically two methods. One will involve using the screen texture overlay and the other one we will use the scan lines effect inside of the DaVinci Resolve itself. So let me show you how you can do this with the scan lines effect first. All right, so in the effects, we have to search for scan lines. So search for it. And if you can't find it, then you have to click on open effects. Then you will see scan lines. Drag and drop it onto the footage. Right the bad, you can see that we have something going on in our image. So what you're going to do is increase the line frequency to 20, line sharpness to 2. And we are going to change the red offset green offset and the blue offset so that we have the red green and blue channels in our image we're trying to replicate the tv effect which has all these three channels and then we're going to change the composite mode i'm going to be using multiply but you are free to play around with different composing modes over here then in the global blend we are going to reuse that we can just set this to around 0.05 so that we have a subtle scan line effect. Then you can see that our lines are, if I zoom in, you can see that, let me just increase this. They're all horizontal. Now we want some vertical lines as well. So let me just set this to 0 0.100. Drag in the scan lines effect again, drag and drop it. And on the second scan line effect, I'm gonna use the same values and change the red green and blue offset set the composite mode to multiply and change the global blend set this to 0 0.100 and now i'm going to change the line angle and set this to 90 so that we have the horizontal lines as well all right cool so we have this screen texture the next thing we'll do is we're going to create a new adjustment clip so let's go to the effects and we have our adjustment clip over here it add a new track and on this adjustment clip we are going to add in a dve effect so just drag and drop it onto the adjustment clip and let's go to the effects over here in the inspector and under fusion we have dve uh, we have all these different versions you can click on these and see what they do uh, we're going to use the version 5 over here and go to the border expand that and set the border blend to zero and then you can just change the z position and just you know try to zoom into this uh, area of interest which is this search box over here and just rotate it and change the camera angle all right something like that and change the position as well now what we can do is we can change uh, or we can start animating this so go to the very first frame create a keyframe on position x y and you can animate any property i'm going to animate position Let's go to the last frame and just change the position slightly and just bring it down like so. We have we'll have a really slow movement. Um, so let's just try and fix this adjustment clip over here. All right, so we're gonna have a really slow kind of movement. So it'll look something like this. It looks kind of cinematic when you have a really slow movement. All right, so that is method number one. The next thing what we can do is uh, we can use an overlay. So let me just duplicate this clip over here. Instead of using the scan lines effect, uh, there will be a link to the screen texture. You can download it from the description. Just drag and drop it and put it at the top. Then in the inspector, we're going to change the composite mode and set this to multiply and reduce the opacity. Uh, maybe around four, like so. And if you zoom in, you can see that we have the same red, green, and blue pixels in our image. And that is what we want. Then we can go and uh, add in an adjustment clip at the top. And on this adjustment clip, uh, we can add again the DVE effect. And drag and drop it. And on this DVE effect, we're going to start with the uh, preset number five. Set the border blend to zero and you can just go ahead and zoom in and create any sort of camera angle to this. 
and once you are satisfied with that then you can start animating it uh, this time i'm going to animate the rotation so let's just rotate animate rotate x create a keyframe and move to the end and just sort of uh, change the x rotation something like that you'll have an animation like this and by the way if you're not able to animate dve effect or any other effect and uh, that's because you need to update your davinci resolve i did this previously on an older version of resolve 18. i believe it was 18.1.2 or 1 i don't know but uh, then i updated my davinci resolve to 18.1.4 after updating to the latest version i was able to animate uh, the effects right inside the inspector panel so uh, just make sure you are on the latest version of davinci resolve uh, that's just about it we can also add some other effects such as a uh, camera shake so if you uh, search for camera shake under open effects just apply it drag and drop it and you can see that we have this intense camera shake going on we can go to the open effects and reduce the ptr speed over here set this to very low value and you have this cool uh, camera shake then you can change the reduce the tilt amplitude as well and you know try and play around with these different sliders to get a realistic looking camera shake uh, but yeah that is just about it uh, we have both of these versions uh, you can just choose whichever one that works best for you uh, let me just play both of these so this is the first version and this is the second version with the camera shake uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.